Hello and good day. I wanted to do this video on um, cannabis and the coronavirus and what people may want to know about it. The antiviral properties of cannabis has a study entitled Potential of Cannabidal for the Treatment of Viral Hepatitis was published in 2017 in the Journal of Pharma Pharmacy Research. Scientists explored the effects of cannabis for both viral hepatitis B and C. Unlike coronavirus, which attacks the respiratory system, all hepatitis viruses target the liver. At the time of this publication and research project, the authors and the researchers of this study could not find a substantial body of peer-reviewed investigation into the plant's antiviral properties. As the authors of this research paper points out, most of the research into cannabis against viruses examined its benefits for reducing the symptoms of the disease, not the changing the course of viral infection. With few studies specifically looking at the plant's antiviral qualities, the team investigates this in vitro with cannabidol, with cannabidol CBD in the laboratory. And they discovered that CBD was successful in limiting the replication of the hepatitis C virus, but didn't seem to have the same impact on the B variety. Although they noted CBD did affect the cells, which were used to culture the hepatitis C virus. Further studies will delve deeper into the potential antiviral abilities of CBD against hepatitis and potentially other viruses. Past research has explored the positive impact of cannabis use among patients with HIV. In a study published in 2019 in the Journal of Clinical infectious diseases, the authors determined a better HIV DNA decay for HIV patients using cannabis as a conjunct conjunctive therapy. Cannabis consumption was alongside pharmaceutical anti-retroviral -retre treatments one speculation is that cannabis significantly reduces systemic inflammation, which may improve the body's ability to fight back. Patients living with HIV AIDS have long used cannabis to alleviate side effects of antiretroviral therapy, including fever, nausea, and vomiting. A study on monkeys published in AIDS Research and Human Retrovirus in 2011 found that THC reduced viral loads in plasma. This ultimately may increase the lifespan of AIDS patients. At this time, there are two clinical trials to determine whether HIV pharmaceuticals 
and Ebola drugs can help treat COVID-19 patients. On February 12th, 2019, who Representative Mary Paul Keeney spoke at a press conference in Geneva, Switzerland, identifying the combination of lopinavir and rotinavir helpful for quite a number of patients with coronavirus. You are suffering from the symptoms of coronavirus, first seek medical attention. Take precautions to limit the exposure to others around you by practicing social isolation, washing hands frequently, and wearing a proper respiratory mask. It is important to follow the guidelines set out by local health authorities, as in some locales, Potential patients have been instructed not to show up at the hospital, but to call for pickup instead. This is to limit transmission to other people. Coronavirus is but one type of viral infection that attacks the lungs. Seasonal flu will do the same, as will certain variations of the common cold. If you do have a viral respiratory infection, corona or otherwise, would smoking cannabis help or hinder your recovery? While well, scientists suggest that cannabis is a probable candidate in the category of potent antiviral herbs, smoke is not the best method of consumption, Unfortunately, smoking any substance brings unwanted particulate matter into the lungs, and that could lower your chance of recovery. The very last thing you want to do is incite additional inflammation infected lung tissue. As summarized by McMaster University, the current literature suggests acute treatment by smoking may relax bronchial muscles, but chronic administration will constrict them. In other terms, this means smoking cannabis over a long term period is a higher risk of adverse respiratory outcomes. For new consumers to smoking, the hot smoke can cause uncontrolled coughing and lung irritation. It would be far better to use a cannabis inhaler, capsules, or the oil, as this brings medicine directly into the lungs and body without any additional irritation of smoke. Alternatively, cannabis oil taken has a high efficiency. This is accomplished because sublingual administration reduces the loss of cannabinoids as the medicine travels through the digestive tract. So can cannabis prevent or treat coronavirus? There is Unfortunately, no evidence that cannabis or any other of the antiviral herbs can stop or slow the progress of COVID-19. On the other hand, if you are already a cannabis patient, there are currently no contraindications for cannabis and antiviral treatments. You can continue to take your medicine, and we can keep hoping that science will uncover previously unknown antiviral properties of cannabis. At the time of writing this report, there were 69,287 confirmed cases of the coronavirus and 1,670 deaths. This was on February 20th, 2020. 
with the rapid escalation of the outbreak. These numbers will surely be outdated by the time of publication. But with several regions heading into the states of emergencies, including quarantine, nervous travelers are looking for antiviral herbs to reduce the chance of infection. Patients have asked us, what about cannabis? There have been rumors about successful treatments for coronavirus, but no confirmations. Several Chinese news stations reported on something promising coming from Ziang University. And multiple nations are cooperatively working on a vaccine. In fact, WHO, the World Health Organization, has identified that there are currently four vaccines in development. On February 12, 2020, who spoke at a conference saying it's likely that there will be one or two that will go into human trials in the next three to four months. However, it would take at least 12 to 18 months for a vaccine to become available for use. Additionally, the World Health Organization is tracking the details of more than 80 different treatment trials. These range from HIV pharmaceuticals to Ebola drugs to antiviral herbs found in ancient Chinese medicine. Does cannabis fall into any of these possibilities? First, let's be clear. Nobody is claiming cannabis cures coronavirus. This emerging virus remains a mystery to the top minds of science. Nor is it likely that smoking the herb will keep you safe from infection. Instead, the following is a discussion on the antiviral properties of cannabis and potential health considerations for cannabis and the people who smoke it. It is inspired by questions from patients that use cannabis. The study entitled Potential of Cannabidal for the Treatment of Viral Hepatitis was published in 2017 in the Journal of Pharmacognosy Research. Science explored the effects of cannabis for both viral hepatitis B and C. Unlike the coronavirus, which attacks the respiratory system, all hepatitis viruses target the liver. At the time of publication, the authors of the study could not find a substantial body of peer-reviewed investigation into the plant's antiviral properties. As the authors of this paper point out, most of the research into the cannabis against viruses examined is benefit for reducing the symptoms of the disease not the changing the course of viral infection. With few studies specifically looking at the plant's antiviral qualities, the team investigated, in, uh, investigated this in vitro with cannabidal CBD. In the laboratory, they discovered CBD was successful in limiting the replication of the hepatitis C virus but didn't seem to have the same impact on the B variety. Although they noted CBD did affect the viruses, which are used to culture the hepatitis C virus. Further studies will delve deeper into the potential of antiviral abilities of CBD against hepatitis and potentially other viruses. What is interesting here is that past research has explored the positive impact of cannabis used among patients with HIV. In a study published in 2019 in the Journal of Clinical Infectious Diseases, the author determined a better HIV DNA decay for HIV patients using cannabis as a conjunctive therapy. Cannabis consumption 
was alongside pharmaceutical antiretroviral treatment. One speculation is that cannabis significantly reduces systemic inflammation, which may improve the body's ability to fight back. Patients living with HIV AIDS have long used cannabis to alleviate side effects of antiretroviral therapy, including fever, nausea, and vomiting. A study on monkeys published in AIDS Research and Human Retrovirus in 2011 found that THC reduced viral loads in plasma. This ultimately may increase the lifespan of AIDS patients. At this time, there are two clinical trials to determine whether HIV pharmaceuticals and Ebola drugs can help treat COVID-19 patients. Over a year ago, on February 12th, 2019, World Health Organization representative, Mary Paul Keeney, spoke at a press conference in Geneva, Switzerland, identifying the combination of lopinavir and rotunavir helpful for quite a number of patients with coronavirus. What that means is that since February 12th, 2019, there was already patients with coronavirus. What this report and research shows is that this is not a new virus and that the World Health Organization has already been doing research for quite a number of patients with coronavirus. So it has been shown that coronavirus has already been in existence for longer than the February 12th of 2019. I hope you found this video interesting and may the world heal and find the treatment that we all deserve to kill this virus. Have a great day. Bye-bye.